welcome to Croc News. Today's segment is about Ofsted News. When they came in on the 20th of Wednesday in March and the 21st on Thursday in March. It was a good visit and plenty of students were interviewed. They also have been inside classes looking at teachers' lessons. For more information, please visit Cockshire Hill's website at cockshirehill.co.uk. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another one of our crack specials. Today we're going to be telling you about some of the events that Cockshire has been holding. Yeah, recently Cockshire Hill has been encouraging charitable events. Oh yeah, no car red no seven. You might not have known this, but Year 11 raised £233.16. pence, And you didn't know that Year 10 raised £195.95. pence. Year 9 raised £162.30. And then Year 8 year raised £217.56. And Year 7 raised £341.32. And remember... And remember Mr Joy's eight word competition you can still join in with. Also, on the 28th of March, which is the day we break up, everyone will be wearing a hat for Wear a Hat Day. So please wear your hats, it's for brain tumours. And also, on the same day, our amazing Easter bake sale. Um, well, that's all we have time for for now. But remember to check up on the crop. crop. We are trying to earn money for Easter. Please help. Doctor, I'm pointing to you about the NIA qualifying matches. He is kind of you to partook in the uh, amazing progress. On February 13th, our year seven boys got through to the uh, um, athletics final out of all of Birmingham and held at the NIA. Um, to get through, we beat Archbishop Ilsley, Kesh. Yes, we beat Kesh! No. Anyway, we beat Kesh, Archbishop Ilsley and Nine Stars, which means we made it to the finals. So how did you at the mining man? How did you do at the mining man? Well, we came third, which is the best the school's ever done, and it was it was pretty good how we came third because that was the first time the school's ever got a medal. I heard Ethan Oliver was that like a Usain Bolt. Oh yeah, he was called the fastest kid in Birmingham after he won the 60 meter sprint and did it under eight seconds. So how was it performing at such an amazing event? It was like quite big, so it's a bit intimidating at first but it was pretty good because I did win the 200 meter sprint. But that's all we have time for now. Hi I'm James and I'm the Croc News book reviewer. Today I'm going to be talking to you about The Hobbit which is probably one of the best books that I've ever read. So it's about a young hobbit that lives in the land of Middle Earth which you probably might have heard of in the Lord of the Rings books because it is a prequel to the Lord of the Rings and it was written first. And this young hobbit journeys with some dwarves and a wizard to the, la um, to the land of Erebor where, he wants to take, where the dwarves want to take back their homeland from the evil dragon Smog. The, the character of Bilbo Baggins, he's, he's obviously, you know, he's very young. At first he's not, he doesn't really want to go on this adventure with them because Shire Folk, which is a, obviously like a little province in Middle Earth, they don't exactly like going on adventures. They, you know, they see their way of life as it has to be peaceful, but as the book goes on, he starts looking more adventurous and brave. I think my enjoyment of the book, it was, I think it was very fast paced and, but it described things good as well as well, because, you know, being as a fantasy book. I think, I, I think Tolkien, who, obviously the author, um, I think he made it like really well, because he, he, he made it fast paced, but he didn't under, under describe things. I think it could be better if, I think there was a lot of action in it, which I think was good, but it could be better if, like, I'm not sure really. I think all round it was a good book, and it could have a few improvements, but I think the comparison to the book, of the book to the film, the film was, I think, because I saw the film, and I've read the book, obviously, uh, I think they were both, both very well, I think the film was very well adapted with the book, and um, even like the songs that the dwarves sing in, in it and like the, you know, like the rhymes and stuff, they even got that right as well. And, the re and because the films are being split up into three parts, it'll let them make, you know, this one book, they'll be able to include even more than, you know, even more than Lord of the Rings films, where there were three books and they could only do three films where they had to leave them out. So I think that's good. 
I think my overall rate, uh, my overall rating of the Hobbit would probably be a nine out of ten, because it could have some slight, it could have some slight improvements, but overall it's a really good book. Thank you for listening. I'm James, and I'm the book, Crockley's book reviewer. Bye.